The Fall Fest is part of our year-end celebration where um, the kids get to do workshops that they wouldn't normally get in their 4-H club or, or um, if they're willing to, they can actually teach uh, a workshop and the workshops are about a half hour long. I'm teaching a class on hand spinning. And you take wool and you just use a drop spin and you make it in the yard. But I raise my own sheep, so all, this is all wool that I've dyed myself, carded and everything. So I do a little bit of it throughout the year, but this is the big thing, teaching it here. So I started with just a raw fleece, and then I carded it on the drum card, and then this is all dyed with Kool-Aid. These are all different colors of Kool-Aid. And then I'll just show them how to spin. And this is a drop spin, I made all these myself. It's just a piece of wood on a dowel. You let this sit 24 hours so that it doesn't unravel, and then you can spin with it. I uh, spin with it. You can knit with it, crochet with it. There's a lot of different things. Anything you can do with a regular yarn, you can do with this. We're going to wrap the orange around the ball, and then we're going to take these needles. They are, um, they got little hooks at the bit, the base here, and you're just going to keep popping this in, and it's, it's um, felting it. And then when I get it shaped to the shape I want, like this is a pumpkin, so I started making lines to make the grooves in the pumpkin. And then I'll take some green and make a leaf and a stem. And I'll work the stem into this hole here and make a big stem that comes up. And this is, kids can do this in an hour. They can get a pumpkin done. I'm a volunteer leader for the Coastal Clovers 4-H Club, which is based out of York, Maine. And uh, I lead our club through different projects throughout the year. We focus on community service. Uh, we grow a large uh, vegetable garden that we donate to the food pantry. Today I'm just here as a support role. My daughter is actually teaching a class today. Um, she's one of the older kids in my clubs and it's nice to see her go from coming here and taking small classes to now she's teaching a wacky science class. So I'm going to kind of help her out today a little bit and just hang around with her. They're going to make an armpit fudge which she she came up with. It's, uh, it's a recipe that's out there that you, you put some stuff in a bag and you make fudge under your armpit, kind of fun. And then they're going to make some kind of a goo on a borax and glue, which is it's pretty sticky and interesting. So the kids should have a fun time with that. <laughs>